Tour, working for a custom harvesting and farming crew in north central Nebraska. We just got here to the field. We're going to clean off windows because they are disgusting. And uh, check oil, get equipment fired up, maybe go through, grease everything, make sure all the bearings are good. And uh, we got a whole bunch of little like puddle jumper fields today. We got a bunch of little 70 acre and 30 acre fields to get finished. We're in the home stretch of planting for the year. We got probably somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred acres left to do and then we're done. So we're finally getting there, but it's taken a while. So we're gonna get rolling and get started for the day. So we just finished this 70 acre field right here. I don't know if you can hear me, it's really windy. But I thought I'd show you guys this. This is a uh, very unique planting setup here. So the tractor on it is called a RX, an 8RX. It's 370 horse, this particular one. And uh, as you can tell, it doesn't have tires. It's actually got four tracks on it, which is a uh, new design by John Deere. And uh, it's got our 12 row, or sorry, 18 row organic planter on it. And uh, I just thought it looks really cool and futuristic looking. Very funky design, but um, the idea behind this is it'll turn and move like a. Uh, wheeled tractor but have the tracks and reduced compaction like a two track machine which uh, I covered in a couple videos ago and as you can see there's one of our tractors right there finishing up the field but yeah it's a very cool looking machine and again the idea behind this is the 18 row three point mounted planter the idea is since we're doing all organic the planter or after we plant it we'll have to come through with an actual cultivator and cultivate since we are not allowed to spray so the idea is if we put it on a three point and pull it directly rigid mounted to the tractor instead of towed behind like all of our other planters the idea is our gps will be more accurate and we won't have what's called drift, which is the planter moving side to side and not quite on the line of where the GPS is. It's very noticeable on, that's very noticeable on curves especially. So the idea is when you have it this way, you can make sure your lines are a lot straighter and then your cultivators aren't ripping up nearly as much corn. They still rip up corn, that's just the nature of them. You'll have it, but it's supposed to drastically reduce the amount of corn it rips up. So, I just thought it was really neat. It's parked here on the edge of the field where I'm working at, and uh, thought I'd jump out and take a little video of it before I got back in my tractor. But, you can see it's just a little 18 row corn planter and funny enough if you actually look at the tanks on it it's not a John Deere planter but it, those are actually John Deere OEM tanks they got uh, precision planting row units on it and the company that builds these builds their own bar but for the most part everything is uh there's a lot of John Deere OEM parts on it, and it's painted to look like a John Deere planter, which John Deere now frown upon that. And I, if I understand correctly, this was one of the very last ones built with John Deere OEM tanks, but still really neat. So I got to get back at it, but just thought I'd jump out and take a little video of it. But as soon as I jumped in the tractor, two field finishers pulled into the field. So, only on an operation like this do you have two VT tractors, mine and the other one's over in the field somewhere. And as we're leaving, two brand new field finishers pull in. 
and then you have a brand new planting rig sitting here ready to go. I don't even want to guess how much money is sitting here on a 70 acre field right now. If I had a guess, there's probably $5 million sitting here. This is, this is the kind of stuff that you can only dream of from being from Ohio. And it's still very weird to be a part, be a part of it, but I'm very thankful to be a part of it. So I just moved to the next field. I'm by myself right now. And that's literally the field. That's it. My monitor is showing uh, 20.88 acres. So it's currently 1017. So let's see how long this takes. If I'm if I had a gas, it's going to take roughly 45 minutes. Well, update. It's been about 10 minutes, and I have that half of the field done, and now I'm waiting on the pivot to move. So I figured I'd jump out and show you what one of these little pivots look like. This is only a three span. Most of them are seven. We have one that's a 14 span, which is, span is between the two tires there. So this is a Valley, which is a very common brand, but it's moving at full speed right now. And if you look, it's barely moving. I don't know how fast these move. They move very slow. So that's why we open up our slot as the first thing we do in the field so that it can get moving as we work across it. Usually we don't catch them like this, but since it's so small, we did. And then here's what one of the sprinkler heads look like. It's just a normal sprinkler head that hangs down into the crop. Some are longer than others. This, some have rubber tubing like this one. Some have metal. Um, so those just hang out and make a nice little fan of water. And then usually out on the end they have a big end gun that shoots way out into the standing crop so you can get a bigger circle. This one doesn't have one, but... That's what they look like. I'll try to get a video before harvest of one of them running so you can see what it looks like with the water on. So, got like 10 more acres and I'm done on this one. Little update here. So, that field ahead of us is our third field finish for the day. And you can see right there, there's one of the field finishers running immediately after we got out. Um, Figured we'd just stop by, grab some extra fuel before we headed out to the next one. Um, that one should only be like a 40 acre field, so that shouldn't take too long with two tractors. And then I don't know what we'll get into after that, but def although we may not be covering as many acres, it definitely feels like we're covering a bunch since we're moving a whole bunch. But one o'clock and already three fields in, so I feel like we're doing pretty good. Well, it's 7 o'clock now, and we just got shut down for the day. Got a total of five fields done today, so that's really good. May not be the most productive day, just because, you know, we weren't in a 500-acre field all day or anything like that, but still a really productive day. No wheels fell off, like, earlier this week, multiple times, and nothing broke down. We are all good, so... Other than them marker lights folding back and being really obnoxious and in the way all day. But that's a rant for another day. So we're going to get let tractors cool down, get shut off, and go to town. So thank you for watching and stay tuned next time.